what is going on everybody lukey boy here so today's video we're going to be talking again about the cypher and surge token but i'm going to be talking about is it worth staking your tokens come the 12th of december 2021 uh and if so why and if if not why so some you know examples and also going over different time periods uh, basically trying to break down what the plan or strategy would be for me uh, for this so let's get started so as you can see the Cypherian surge initial public sale is open from 13 hours and um, they actually have already raised more than they wanted so in you know yes you're not going to get as many tokens but that is good in my opinion because it's getting more attention than than not obviously like anything you don't want to have something that hasn't got enough interest uh you don't want anything that has crazy over interest because obviously that's not always the best thing but it was 14 million about four hundred thousand dollars that they wanted to raise and currently they're nearly at 19. uh obviously that money is just going to go towards the team developing the game staff hiring blah 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 marketing all that kind of thing which is good in my opinion Again, it's not financial advice, not financial advisor. Do you, do your own due diligence. Um, and But I've, you know, sort of researched this uh, company for a while. I know the team. I've looked at all the details behind it, the roadmap, blah, blah, blah. Um, and for me, it's a very solid, uh, you know, once you put all those pieces together, what is my valuation? That is, is a potential huge opportunity and a huge potential game coming up in the future for the blockchain uh, gaming community and so that's why I went and invested just one ETH obviously I don't want to go crazy on one thing I want to have a nice spread um, again you can always invest in their NFTs you don't have to do all of this but I'm going to have a dabble in as I mentioned in the last video a little bit of everything um, because I believe in this project I will play the game I will get involved um, and so yeah that's why I'm getting involved with every step of the way you know with them so what is staking and what does it mean Staking basically means that you can lock your tokens up from this period. Uh, oh, it opens on the 11th, not the 12th. Uh, and basically, you can stake it for a period of time. So you can do it between, I don't know where it says it, but 0 and 12 months. Here we go. Um, you can stake it between 0 and 12 months, and you get rewards. You get basically paid more tokens for staking. And that's usually used so that people don't, People have a reason to keep hold of the tokens. Uh, of course, it's going to be used in game. It's going to be used in their ecosystem and their economy, their world economy to do things and transact. But short term, the game is not out yet. And so it, it, it shores up the price is what it does. Ultimately, it shores up the project. Now, you're like, how does it quick, quickly? How does that work? Um, if there's, you know, if there was no staking and it went, you know, everyone sort of had their tokens and I think there's, I can't remember how many tokens, but there's millions of tokens. Um, there's more chance that people will be selling when the price pumps because everybody has the option to sell. When it's staked, if there's more incentives to stake, meaning the rewards are good, uh, obviously that means more people will probably lock up their tokens because the rewards are, you know, outweigh what people would decide to not stake it. Uh, and that means there's obviously less like tokens to to be sold and traded which means that there's less chance to have crazy moves in price obviously if there was 90 percent staking there's only 10 percent that have it off on 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 tradable markets and that means there's only 10 percent of that money that can be sold and so the price won't go crazy and that's basically because if i was um if i wanted to sell you know if that's say it doubled i want to sell obviously if someone was like oh i want to sell as well but i want to sell now they're going to just undercut me a bit because if I want to sell it at double the price, but someone's like, well, I don't mind taking like nearly double. So they're going to go below me and someone else will go below that. It's like imagine Amazon arbitrage, penny under bro pricing, same thing. And so what happens is the more people that want to get out because they want to, you know, they, they see it double, they're like, yeah, I'll get out and I'll just, that's good enough for me. Obviously, the more people that are doing that, like with more sellers, the more chance the price is to keep dropping and dropping and dropping. Obviously, at some point, it will find its lowest but if there was only 10 percent supply think about it 10 percent of the sellers are on there now yeah the price normally stays higher that's exactly the same thing and so it's a good way to kind of shore up the price and again if the team have cypher and surge tokens that they hold on to if they want to sell some at 
a later date because they want to fund something, they'll be able to sell it, get more money, and they'll be able to actually fund it. If the price went to nothing because everyone was selling everything, then they can't, you know, it's not, it's not as uh, like nice, <laughs> nice. It's not as good for them, you know, it's not as flexible for them to be able to sell because they'll have to sell more tokens to get the money they require to do whatever they're pursuing. And it doesn't mean they're going to be doing that, but you get what I mean. I'm just sort of roughly giving you some examples. So the two options for staking are standard Cypher tokens. You Basically, there's 20% of the liquidity mining rewards for just staking your Cypher tokens, but you can do an ETH and Cypher split, as you see here. And you basically get rewarded more. And so you're basically staking ETH and Cypher. Uh, and that's just to, because, because it's on the um, Ethereum blockchain, you would sell Cypher into ETH. That's how it would work. You wouldn't sell it to a US dollar pairing. And so by having ETH <coughs> in there, it just helps the liquidity pool. And you can go ahead and research that more if you really want to understand that. I'm not going to go into detail. Uh, and the longer you stake it for, as you can see here, the more weight you get, uh, the more return in Cypher tokens. So again, that's a reason why potentially holding it or staking it up for longer is better. But you got to think to yourself, you know, if I lock it up for 12 months and it 10x's, I can't sell. Yeah. So you got to you got to bear that in mind as well. And so, you know, how do you make a decision? Do you stake it or do you not stake it? Or do you do it for a little bit, six months or whatever? And this is how I came to my conclusion. So I looked at some other games that are blockchain based and that are one's already released and one is not yet released. So if you want to actually see when this game is going to be released, the, the kind of there's demos coming here in April, May 2022. Another demo here. But this is where like crafting, PvE, some sort of brawl thing, open battle arena comes out. It's about a year. It's like nine months to a year, depending on if they delay anything at all. And so I looked at something called Alluvium. Again, not out yet. If you want to see when it comes out, it is it is 20, Q1 2022. Sorry. So sooner than the Cypherian Surge by about six, eight, eight months, depending on when it's released. Um, and they already have a token. Yeah, so I wanted to see what the plan was uh, and what what, it, what the token looked like and all that kind of thing. Again, you can't always draw a comparison to the game itself, but block. I just I'm doing a comparison to blockchain gaming that have tokens that are looking like they're going to be quite big. Again, there's probably tons more games. I'm just going to keep it quite simple and just pick two for now that um that I can see that I know are decent. Uh, I actually went into. I don't think you can see it here. Uh, coin market cap gaming tokens and I just look for yeah you know, there's a lot of platforms on there but there's also some games and so basically this is a game as you can see doesn't it looks relatively cool you know I'm not going to go into videos and stuff um, and what I did is I actually went and checked the charts so this will you'll be able to find a Cypherian surge token when it's fully released on whatever exchange and you end up you'll be able to get a graph like this if you if you want to look at something like that um, and it originally debuted at like a $415 per Alluvium. And now it's up at 1307 and it went up to like 1000 It went up to like 2000 And you can just see here, this is from 22nd of September, 23rd of September. So we've got almost like two and a bit months uh, since it's been released. And again, it is new, so it's more likely to have these choppy price action. What I mean by choppy, can we see it on the volume profile? Not really. Um, it just means that obviously it's got to find its feet, so it's going to have more wicks, which means it goes up to that price in in the day, but actually closes down here. So it went up to like 932 within that day, and it actually cl like closed the day at 676. Again, it did one here, it's done one on the first day. It's done it to the downside, so obviously it, it you know it went as low as 1,100 a couple of days ago, but closed at 13, you know, and it's going to do that while it's a relatively new asset class. There's less money involved, you know, like definitely with the cipher, with only like 19 million in involved, um, it's not a lot of money. If there was hundreds of millions, obviously, that's when you usually get a bit more of a stable price. No guarantees, of course, 
but overall on, on average you get a bit more stable price and the less money it just basically if i have if it's only a million in there i have five hundred thousand. i decide decide to sell half, half of it like half of the whole money involved you're going to see like i can i can manipulate or move that market because i'm basically playing with half of the whole market uh if you have 300 million that 500 grand is <coughs> not so much and so it doesn't move the market as much so it you know it is you know a lot of things can find its feet um and i just you know if you want to see the percentage gains top to bottom 382.85 percent okay but this game is not out yet you can't really use this token yeah this is in a way it's a bit of speculation as the game is releasing new content new updates blah 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 maybe they got staking they got other things maybe the staking rewards is really good i don't know it's a good it's a look um i'm not going to go into it too much uh they got like one what one hang on one point set 1.8 billion staked interesting okay fair enough um yeah i'm not gonna look into this too much but you can kind of see <coughs> a lot of these things have different things to get you a stake and get you to keep your stake so that ultimately the price can go up over time because there's less tokens available on the market which means it's more scarce so on so on so i looked at this and was like okay what's well, out to q q1 2022 cool okay then i went and looked at axie infinity now this game you can play it has been out it actually came out a good while ago like the original version they update it and change things over time of course you can go and look at it at your own time and look you know figure out what's going on if you really want but if you want to look at axie this is what it looks like so it's kind of very similar uh, obviously this is actually has been out longer so that's why it looks a bit different but relatively it's the same this thing top to bottom was about a thousand percent gain obviously now it's here um so you could decide you know that was july to november you could decide what you know imagine it imagine if cypher and search imagine if you put in four grand and it went up a thousand percent that's 44 grand now but you can't get it out <laughs> because it's staked <coughs> so you've got to decide you know what is the right time obviously the time frame you could go i'll stake for three months so july august september october beautiful you get in the top yeah but you don't know that's going to happen again you could stake for september october november december the 23rd we're not there yet so you want maybe wanted to get out here but you couldn't yeah it's still way better than that but you get what i mean and so the way that i'm going to judge it is that i'm like wow the game isn't coming out until about a year's time give or take um alluvian game is not out yet but it's coming very soon uh, a couple of months three two three months maybe even less and obviously the axie game is out and you can use it and it's a very you can trade it in game marketplace blah 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 so even though this could not this sorry the cypherian says token could pump it seems for me that close to the game being released the more demand for the token there is yes you can get you can get you know gains without staking but for me i think i'm going to lock it up for a 12 month period because the game will come out in about that period in 12 months and so you know there's no guarantees that you're not going to i mean there's no you could get something like this and be like oh you know but this game's already out and it can be used so that's why it's had bigger gains yeah um something like illuvium yes it's still gone really well but the game isn't out yet yes you might be able to even you might be able to trade on the marketplace already but you still can't play the game you can't still do anything with it as such in its full capacity so I'll be thinking about the Cypherian Surge token and looking at the roadmap, you know, looking over here, um, the crafting, the, I mean, even, even the land isn't even going to be released yet. There's certain aspects of it. Another token. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So another token, token public sale and emissions. So that'd be interesting. Oh, hang on. That's not another. Ather. Who knows? Who knows? Again, we can't see what that is, but in my mind, it's better to at least six to 12 months because the game is not going to be fully 
you know, yes, it's even it's here, but really it's not until this whole last section. And so I want to be holding it for when pretty much the game comes out or just before the game comes out because you know, just before the game comes out, a lot of people maybe want to sort of stock up because they're excited to start playing it. And so that could be a time to sell. There's no obviously perfect scenario. You just got to work it out for yourself. Um, but I was taking into consideration the, the game that's released versus the price, which is here, which has gone up about a thousand percent top to bottom. Then something that is close to the being released but not fully released again Illuvium um, and then obviously the Cypher which is going to be further away and so yes you could have staked here so you could have staked here and you're locked into here and actually that's not a bad gain anyway yeah but imagine if you bought in here as well and you and it, at 400 and at like 800 you're like oh my god like it can't go up anymore and then you cash out and then maybe you want to buy back later, but really you can never buy back here, or even if it got up to here. Um, and so in a way, I'm trying to paint a picture because I also don't want to sell too early. I want to be doing it for long term. And again, I want to play the game. I want to use the game currencies and stuff. So it's more risk for me to hold. But again, emotionally, you can always you, at some point you might go, you know, that's forty grand. <coughs> like, do I want to have forty grand in this token? No right answer. You might be happy, you know, that 40 grand, still 40 grand. Yes, it could be 400 grand, but of course, like in hindsight, that's always better. Uh, and that might be perfect for you. And I'm happy to have it locked knowing that long term, I'm going to play the, that, that game, that long term game. And I want to play the game with the tokens. I want to use them. And so, yes, you might want to, I might see this, but I'm locked. I'll be like, oh my God. But over the long term, I feel like it's going to be beneficial. And again, there's going to be lots of uh, gaming tokens that probably do crap. And so you can't, you know, you can compare it to others and go, well, how do you know it's going to do that? It could just plummet. Yeah, it could. You know, that that's the risk you take when you're investing early into certain things. And that's why I've done a lot of due diligence. And so there's a lot of people in the circle that I'm in. This is a paid NFT based <clears throat> group. And so that is, you know, because Cypher are actually NFTs and they've now, you know, based around a game. And I will say I'm collecting the Cypher and Surge token, um, sorry, NFTs. But I wanted to come up, obviously, this is just about working out what about the staking. Uh, and so I'm going to probably look to probably stake for 12 months or nine. Uh, yeah, I think if you can just, if you can choose month to month, like literally you can do 11 months or something. Uh, the only thing I thought about a 12 month lockup is that if everyone stakes, and a lot of people stake for 12 months. As soon as that 12 month period comes, if the price is really high, uh, and a lot of people are like, wow, like, this is a perfect time to sell. And obviously 12 months is the longest. And I'd say a lot of people do that because they're bullish and they want to get a lot more free tokens. You could see a sell off after that 12 month period that could bring the price down. But if you staked for 11 months, there's going to be less people probably doing 11 because people, most people go, well, what's the point doing 11? Might as well do 12. Yeah, well, I might do 11 so that I'm there's not as many people sort of ending it there. And so if I wanted to sell at that point, I could, depending on how you know crazy or not crazy it got. Um, and it's I'm probably not going to be late. like, you know, imagine cashing out and you go look at the price and it's gone down like 30 percent. And you're like, oh, I know what, because so many people are doing already like jumping ahead. Or maybe you're sleeping when it ended. It's like 3 a.m. Yeah, you could get up and you could do it real quick, but you get what I mean. Uh, and I just thought maybe that was a tactic I was going to also employ because it's not going to be massively uh, a massive difference in the way of rewards by going 11 months, but also I'm protecting myself against everyone after those 12 months if it really skyrocketed uh, selling. And so I don't, yeah, you kind of get what I mean on that point. Uh, and so I was thinking about doing that so that I can, you know, it doesn't mean that there won't be people unlocking after 11 months, but less people, I suspect. Um, and it might be that a lot of people then go and restake again after 12 months, but I'm just, it's like, you know, you've got to weigh up what protection you want potentially. Um, you know, if, if it turned into a hundred grand, I don't really get from like four grand, which is about one eighth, you know, I'd probably take it even if it does double or triple, like you got to weigh, you work out is that amount based on where you are in life. That's how I'm doing it. Would that benefit me more to have it to do stuff with than holding it and it maybe goes to 500 grand or something you get what i mean like you know being a maybe maybe forever yeah you might hit it once or twice in your life but all the other times you might end up never having anything so you got to take you know you got to take it based on where you are and 
if you need it i'm not any you know don't, not let's say that you need it but it'd be nice that you could do stuff with that you could go and buy another house or something you know uh whatever so anyway i'm gonna leave the video there hopefully you enjoyed it um and it just gave you a little bit of an overview of my thoughts behind this any questions let me know there of course uh and anything that you might want to add or yeah add to it then let me know and i'll see you all on the next one bye